About two months ago, I noticed this big bump on my butt. It's at the top of my butt crack, and it sticks out about an inch when I sit down in super pain. I've been keeping this a secret from everybody else in my life because I'm kind of embarrassed about it. I'm ready for this thing to go. When Tina wrote into the show and told us about her giant butt bump, we wanted to help, so we sent her to proctologist Dr. David Rosenfeld. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just look at the outside, okay? So I can see the raised area, but underneath that, I feel a, what I call a bony prominence. It could be something like a spur. And the next thing I need to do is I need to do a rectal exam. I don't feel a mass on the inside, but I do feel that there's a little bit of what I would call a defect in the area of the bone. It doesn't feel like anything serious, but we have to make sure it's not cancer. So the next test would be an MRI. So she'll go get an MRI to evaluate the area. And then once we get a better diagnosis, we'll know which doctor to send it to. Best case scenario, it's just a benign spur. Worst case scenario is she has a malignant you know, spinal cord tumor. I spoke with the radiologist who told me it was a benign process and bone spur. So, great news, I know you're anxious, it's been a long day, it is not cancer. There is a solution to your discomfort. Well, I'm joined right now by Dr. Rosenfeld, and <laughs> Tina, you can listen in while we talk a little bit. When you met with Tina, and you heard she had a bump in this particular region, you weren't necessarily thinking bone spurs. No. But exam, MRI, did reveal indeed that's what she was suffering from. Correct. When I first saw the picture and I heard she had a bump on her tailbone, I was thinking she had a pilonidal cyst, which is a hair-filled cyst which sits right at the back of the area where you sit. You usually don't know they're there until it gets infected. It's very painful. But I wanted her to come in and take a look because if it was that, we could treat it. Uh, when I examined her, she had a hard lump about the size of a walnut. And that's what concerned me a little bit. So what you actually found were bone spurs now, this isn't quite what Tina was dealing with, but normally with joint spaces, it's supposed to be nice and smooth, but occasionally along joint margins, you can get bony projections, okay? And again, this is not where right. Tina's were, but these bony projections, they can be very painful. They're benign, they're not cancerous or, or tumor gross. Right. But in the wrong place, they can cause a debilitating amount of pain. Sure. I mean, in this area, in the vertebral column, if they, if they move into the area of the nerves, they pinch the nerves, people get radiculopathy. Uh, in her area, it's unusual. But anywhere there's cartilage and the bone is healing, it can just continue to grow. And Bur that's what happens. Bone spurs can occur anywhere, anywhere you have any joint space in the body. Now, right. Tina, n now that you have a better understanding, are you, are you excited that, that you have an answer? Yeah, I'm relieved to know that's a solution to my problem. Yeah. Tina, thanks so much for sharing your story. We really want you to feel good again. So board certified spine surgeon, Dr. William C. Talley is going to take care of your bone spur free of charge. And the best part, <laughs> Athens Orthopedic Clinic is right in Tina's hometown. So we are wishing you the best of luck, Tina.